Now let us discuss the vertical a shift of center of gravity due to a shifting. Suppose this is the vessel and we are looking the vessel in transverse direction that is port and starboard direction. The displacement of the vessel is capital W. The center of gravity of the vessel is somewhere here and this is denoted by capital letter G. So we say the kg of the ship is uh, the distance of center of gravity from keel and the weight will act vertically downward like this. This W will act vertically downward like this. So now let us assume that this vessel is having some small w weight here and i am shifting this weight vertically upward like this so initially this weight was at this location where i can mark here kg1 this distance is kg1 and when i shifted this vertically upward the distance was kg2 well let me just use another color so this distance was kg2 this distance was kg2 so I shift this something from this position to this position like this well if I shift something from this position to this position the center of gravity of the vessel will also shift so we can say that uh, kg1 will be kg plus gg1 kg is this distance this distance and gg1 is this distance so the kg1 the new shift a uh, new center of gravity will be kg the old one plus the shift now let us take the moment about keel of this situation well this can be uh, solved by considering that first I discharge this weight like this and then I load this weight so it is as good as the shifting part so let's assume the first scenario here this is the table which says remark weight distance from keel and I have taken the unit also the weight is in turn distance from keel is meter so the vertical movement and this vertical movement is about keel and this is in turn meter so first remark let me talk about ship so let's talk about ship the displacement was this one and the distance from keel was kg so the product will be capital W into kg now we assume that I discharge this weight like this so if I discharge this weight let me put this way discharge and thus I'll put minus W and the distance is kg1 so the vertical movement is a small w into kg1 and well since we discharge so I need to subtract this vertical movement similarly now after discharging let's go up here I put this small w weight here at g2 location somewhere here kg2 so if I discharge from here and I load something here now let me add another scenario where I do the loading so I load something and I put this plus W and the distance from keel is kg2 the vertical movement I can add W into kg2 so let's find out the final weight final displacement well the final displacement or final weight is going to remain same because I discharge this and I added this basically I shifted so the final displacement is same and the final vertical movement will be W K G that is capital W and capital K G minus a small W K G 1 and plus W K G 2 so this is your final vertical movement final vertical movement well the final kg can be obtained like this kg1 final kg is kg1 this is equal to nothing but final vertical moment divided by 
final displacement so final vertical moment is w kg minus a small w kg1 plus small w kg2 divided by capital w this is kg1 we know it very well that kg1 is nothing but kg plus gg1 yes definitely this is k this is g and this is g1 so kg1 is nothing but kg plus gg1 and let me write here w into kg minus small w kg1 plus w kg2 divided by capital w now little bit algebra well gg1 will keep it on the left hand side and kg i take it on the right hand side so kg w into kg minus small w kg1 plus small w kg2 divided by w minus kg this kg i have taken on right hand side like this now i can simply solve let me put it this way so this one is w and let me just put let me solve this w into kg minus small w kg1 plus w kg2 minus well this w will go here capital w into kg all i need to do is just cancel this with this so the end result is gg1 is equal to minus w into kg1 plus w into kg2 divided by w i can modify this further that minus kg1 i can write like this kg2 minus w into kg1 divided by capital w or simply let me take this w common kg2 minus kg1 divided by capital w well i can modify this formula further that kgg1 is w into d divided by w where d is the distance like this kg2 minus kg1 i can generalize this formula by saying that gg1 is w into d divided by capital w where or i can write as final so we are in case of shifting my w final final is same it doesn't make any difference and the distance d is the kg of the final position and the kg of initial position well i can also write like this the kg of first position and kg of second position or simply this is the distance this is the distance shifted distance shifted similarly i can write about loading for loading this w final will be w plus w and for discharging it will be w final will be capital w minus w and the d here in this case will be kg of the ship and kg of the weight the difference of kg of the ship and kg of the weight whereas in case of shifting it is going to be total distance shifted nothing else